Okay, so Apple is working on their own mixed reality headset, but that's not supposed to come out until 2023. However, Meta is also working on a very special headset of their own, one that's codenamed Project Cambria. And this will be by far Apple's biggest competitor. And if you've been a fan of the Oculus Quest 1 and 2, like I have, you'll be extremely excited for Meta's new headset. So here are not five, but eight of the biggest changes and features that we already know about. At number eight, this new headset won't actually be a new Quest. I called it Quest 2 Pro in the title of this video, as that's technically what it would be in terms of the specs and the features, but at least when it comes to its name, it would be called something else. This is something that Mark Zuckerberg specifically mentioned during the most recent Facebook Connect event. So this isn't the next Quest. It's going to be compatible with Quest. Number seven, it will be quite expensive. Something else that Mark Zuckerberg also mentioned was that this new headset would be placed at the higher end of the price spectrum. But Cambria will be a completely new advanced and high-end product, and it'll be at the higher end of the price spectrum too. And that's because it would have loads of new sensors and technologies, and it would take some time until they can bring down the cost uh, to Quest level prices. I personally expect a price between $700 to $1,000, which might seem like a lot when you compare it to the Quest 2's $300 price point, but actually a bargain compared to Apple's rumored $3,000 starting price for their own headset. At number six, Meta's new headset would have a completely different design to the Quest. Now, this is based on an actual teaser video that Meta has released. And in it, we can see a design that features a full glass front and a hard plastic enclosure for the rest of the headset. And of course, the fact that it comes in black helps it differentiate even more from the Quest 2, which only comes in white. Now, thanks to Marcus Kane and Brad Lynch, we have some concept renders which were based on both the trailer as well as on insider information. And I am a major fan of this design. The profile view does look quite similar to the PSVR 1s uh, with this red plastic piece, which for me at least, was the most comfortable VR headset that I've ever used. The headband itself is quite similar to the Quest 2's Elite Strap, only without the top portion and with a larger back section, likely for even more comfort. And then from the front, we can see that we have three cameras, two of them pretty much matching the position of where your eyes would be on the inside. I'll cover why this is in a bit. And then two more cameras, one on each side of the headset for a total of five. That is one more than on the Quest 2. At number five, we have updated lenses. Meta stated at a Facebook Connect event that they will be using pancake lenses. These are able to fold light several times to achieve a much slimmer profile than traditional lenses. Meta also called these optics their most advanced and best ones yet. And interesting enough, ming Chico himself posted some info about Meta's new headset, confirming that it would feature 2P pancake lenses compared to the current 1P uh, Fresnel lenses of the Quest 2. That's how this headset can be this thin. The Quest 2 did have some very chunky lenses, as you can probably tell. And number four, we have something even better, which is facial expression tracking. But you know what's even better? NordVPN, our sponsor for this video. NordVPN is more than just a VPN. It now features a built-in threat protection feature that one, blocks trackers from every website to keep you anonymous, two, blocks those malicious and pesky ads that you see all over the web, and three, blocks harmful websites that may contain dangerous malware. Threat protection is included for free for every NordVPN user. NordVPN also includes a dark web monitor that scans the web for your leaked data, and it also lets you create custom presets optimized for downloading, browsing, and more. Go to nordvpn.com slash zotvpn or click the link below for an exclusive discount and a bonus. And with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you can try Nord without any risks. And now, back to the video covering the facial expression tracking, which is the most unique feature to come to Meta's new headset. Essentially, it uses a couple of sensors on the inside that can track your eyes, your eyebrows, your nose, and your mouth, and then apply your facial expression to your own avatar in real time. This is game-changing for video calls or especially for meetings in VR, which Meta has been pushing quite heavily 
with their Workrooms platform. Not only that, but facial expression tracking has also been hinted at uh, in some leaked tutorials from back in October 2021. Something else that got leaked in those tutorials is feature number three, the new controllers. And if you're enjoying this video, do consider subscribing as we're going to have day one coverage as soon as this new headset gets released. These new controllers were first found in those leaked tutorials. And by the way, we can tell that these tutorials are real as number one, they share the same exact animation style that Meta has used before in some of their other promotional materials. And number two, the design of the headset actually matches the one that Meta has showed us in their most recent unveil trailer. And here we can see that controllers have been redesigned as well. They are now black, um, matching the headset, and they also appear to be quite a bit smaller. Not only that, but they appear to be sitting on a wireless charging pad, which would be such an awesome upgrade. As with a Quest 2's controller now, when it runs out of battery, you have to physically take the cover off and replace the physical battery that way, which is not as convenient. On top of this, the official trailer did show the controller a bit, and it looks like it also lacks that ring that the Quest 2 controllers had. That ring was used for tracking, as that was where the infrared sensors were. The fact that it doesn't have it tells me that it's using a more advanced tracking system. A prototype image of the controllers that got posted on Reddit does seem to show the exact same design. And a couple of leaked screenshots from a Facebook Workplace video uh, do seem to show the final design in person. And we can see that the cutout on the top is actually for a camera, which is also present on the side of the controller. This is what I believe to be that new tracking system. I'm not really sure how Meta will be able to send two video streams in real time to the headset via Bluetooth from the controllers. And maybe they're going to use a Wi-Fi standard instead. But what I do know is that the tracking would be vastly improved, especially in games such as Beat Saber, where your hands would often go behind you um, and out of the headset's tracking capabilities. We've also seen some rumors that these new controllers would have some more precise finger sensing as well as improved haptics. So this would be far more immersive than the current controllers. The second big new feature is the updated display. This is according to both the Reddit leaker that showed us the controller as well as Ming-Chi Kuo. And the biggest display upgrade would be the switch to mini LED technology, which would give us much deeper blacks than what the Quest 2 offered. Still not as good as the Quest 1, which was OLED, um, but it should definitely be an improvement over the Quest 2's grayish blacks. Plus, according to Ming-Chi Kuo, the resolution would also be bumped. And that is to 2160 by 2160 from 1832 by 1920. This doesn't seem like a big jump, but it is actually 1.1 million more pixels on this new headset, or 32% more compared to uh, the Quest 2. Which was already a major improvement over the Quest 1, uh, with 52% more pixels, which almost eliminated the pixelation entirely. This new headsets would be an even bigger improvement. And at number one, the biggest new feature that we already know about is that this new headset would not just be a VR headset, but instead it would also support AR. This is something that Meta has directly mentioned themselves. It would still be compatible with all Quest apps and games, but on top of that, it would use the front mounted cameras to massively enhance your productivity. We kind of have this already on uh, the Quest 2, thanks to pass-through, uh, but this is a very low-res black and white image. This new headset would have a full color view, according to Meta, as well as a 4K 120 frames per second video feed through that main camera in the center, according to the Reddit leaker. And then those two extra cameras on the side would be used to further improve the tracking. Meta has also showed us some potential use cases, uh, such as you sitting at your desk, having multiple floating screens, or doing some workouts at home and seeing your virtual instructor there with you, while also seeing some cards uh, with some info regarding your workouts. And the best part is that since this is AR and not just VR, you would still be able to use real world objects such as a pen and paper to take notes while having all of your augmented reality overlays on top. Augmented reality is personally what I'm excited for the most. I did actually script half of a video at one point in pure AR on the Quest 2, uh, but my eyes hurt really badly afterwards because of the low resolution of the small text on the screen. But the potential is indeed massive. But what do you guys think about this AR future? And definitely check out our previous video on Apple's mixed reality headset and do subscribe for more interesting leaks and rumors episodes. And like I said, they want coverage as soon as we get this new headset. I'm Daniel, this is Zenof Tech, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Zenof Tech, signing out. Cheers.